Good morning, folks. We've got a filament erupting and another coming in to face Earth. We've got earthquakes, the strongest storm on Earth, and a bit of space news as well. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and our eyes will need to go top right, just behind the Earth's scale. One of the northern filaments had a twisting destabilization that I want to show again in 304 angstrom so we can watch the filament's 3D ionized helium structure have a non-linear escape trajectory and twist around rather than fully eject. It has collapsed. The solar wind decreased intensity almost immediately following yesterday's program. Geomagnetic conditions are quiet as well. My eyes today are not on the bright, dying active region, but the dark, thin plasma filament out ahead of it. It enters Earth-facing position today, and I'll be monitoring for eruptive behavior. Meanwhile, the coronal holes facing Earth are still setting their solar wind our way. Got another two days until those ones arrive. We are still in that lithospheric watch from yesterday. Indeed, we've already cracked back up in a magnitude 6 range, rattling the region already down after their 7.5 last month. Another interesting seismic event took place in Oklahoma yesterday. Two four-pointers damaging at least a few homes, and we are forced to revisit the studies from NASA and multiple university professors indicating it's caused by our fracking-related activities, like injection. Let's peek in on the strongest storm on Earth sitting in the South Indian Ocean, sucking in like lows are supposed to do. We're checking its vertical connectivity and obviously it's powerfully blasting up through the cloud level and indeed even higher into the low jets and even at the jet stream where it does finally begin to expel fully that intake from below. And as expected when we hit the stratosphere there's no signature at all. Folks this is IC4710 one of the dwarf satellite galaxies to the Milky Way. In addition to getting Dr. Claridge's conference presentation and Sapphire 2018 update on the website, there is a deeper, deeper look at satellite galaxies aimed at allowing anyone to understand why they violate cold dark matter models. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.